Hey everyone, it is, let's get you in the right position, Saturday the 13th of October, and the time is 11.22 at night. Now, I'm in the bedroom for a reason, because I need to be by the TV, which is uh, just there, because I got paid Thursday, I've got my money as usual, and uh, I did get a few bits this time. Um, I got a few CDs. What did I get? These two I actually got. There's another two in there, but I can't get them at the minute. I have no idea why I bought those, but the money goes to a good cause, so I can always donate them again if I don't like them. It's 56. All three of these actually, I think, yeah, came from the same shop, the community shop. Um, I've got to put a battery in this, and I may actually put a light in this to make it light up. There is room to do it. So, I might just do that. Uh, my brother gave me this because I don't believe I've got that one in my collection. I will have double check but I'm pretty certain I don't. Ah. The other two CDs, I've got to check these as well. If not, I'll donate these again. I couldn't remember if I had these ones or not, so... Either that or I'll give these to my brother because he likes these. Um, now that's what I call music CDs as well, so if I've got them I'll give them to him. But I also got I only paid £20 for this in a charity shop. A PS2 console with memory card. I don't know if it works. It has been tested because uh, a lot of charity shops and other shops have to get electrical items pat tested. So, well, looks like that was tested on the 27th of last month. I think it's hard to see the sticker so yeah there's a little test sticker but pat testing doesn't mean it works all a pat test is is just a safety check to make sure you know that the power cables and things aren't damaged that the device itself isn't damaged in a dangerous way and in theory they should open up these plugs as well, because we can open up a UK one and make sure the fuse is correct as well. And they'll plug them in just to make sure there's no leakage between live, neutral and earth, if earth is present. Which obviously on the PS2 it isn't, so they wouldn't have tested that. But they don't test if it actually works. So that's why I'm in here, at the TV. I've got um, an antenna cable poking out here ready. It's actually for the PS1 that I've got under here, but I don't need the PS1 right this minute. So I'm going to plug the power in, so I better not go sticking my tongue on the end of that now, because it's live. But I also got 17 PS1 games with it. No controller or anything. All the PS2 had with it was the power cable, so there's no antenna cable, which doesn't matter. I've got several spare. And I'm probably just going to use that one as a spare if it works anyway. But yeah, 17 games. And they're all sort of um, first person shooter and a lot of um, air combat ones. But anyway, should we start through them? We have Hidden and Dangerous. We have Soviet Strike. Uh, Eagle One. See what I mean? There's a theme here, isn't there? Oh, and by the way, most of these discs are in mint condition. It's like someone bought these, played them maybe once or twice, and then stuck them up in a loft. And <laughs> uh, what we got? Command and Conqueror. I might already have some of these, so I've got to go through my pile. I know I've got some of these spec up. Spec Ops, rather, not Spec Ops. Covert Assault. Um, 
I don't know what spec op ones I've got up there. Again, I'm I'm gonna have a look. Nuclear Strike. There's actually only two games that don't follow this theme. Command and Conqueror Retaliation. That was a good bargain here, I'll tell you. Chase the Express. I need to call it Chase the Train because of the train on front. Uh, Air Combat. And some of these are two disc as well. Actually, this feels like a two disc. No, it's just got a big old book in it. They've all got their books with them as well. Wing Over. Uh, infestation. Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Who wants to be a millionaire? I've actually got this one. Um, I just want to steal the case, basically. Populous. I'm sure I used to play this on another system, but I can't remember what it was. Another Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol. <laughs> Someone like their Spec Ops. And two more. Strikers 1945, which is a World War II based game. And... I think I've already got this G Police. I'm pretty certain I've already got that one up there. So... I want to know if this PS2 works. <laughs> and... We'll see what's on that memory card as well, if anything. Right. Oh, I've got this little puzzle as well. It's a 3D puzzle, Volkswagen Beetle. Found that for $1.99 in one of the charity shops. Hadn't been made up, I had to make it up. I'll put that up there for now. Right. I'm going to need to uh, just move you for a moment. And put you there, I think. Just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll go through those. These two I bought a couple of weeks or so ago, so they can go on there. Right, so I need, we need signal. It's not going to work without signal. And it's not going to work without juice. I know it turns on because I've already done it. There was a PS2 disc in the disc drive. So we flip that on, I'm going to turn that that way. Might as well use this game that my brother gave me to do the test. Oh, I've got a controller plugged in, have I? Borrow the one from mine. There seems to be one missing because I should have two PS2 controllers um, out here for the PS2, but I've only got the one. Then again, I've noticed I've only got the one PS1 as well. this works. I've not got anything up there. Where's the TV remote gone? Probably on the wrong thingy. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what the button is to change the AV input. Is that one? No, that's different picture modes. Uh, that one. No. Nope. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Well, it doesn't seem to be any of them, so what bloody button is it? That one. There's no button on this panel. No, there isn't. There's the front AV, it's on this poxy remote somewhere. Where is it? I see we've put tape. Well, I can hear it reading the disc fine. Yeah. I seem to have it stuck in teletext at the minute. Ah, 
So we've got that back out of it. And that's timer. What does this one do? Exit that. Ah! Hang on a minute. I am going to just mute that. Yay! It works! Hang on a minute. Oh, I've got to put you up there, but there you go. It's working. Oh. Uh, press any button. Should have a quick play. I'm actually sweating, it's warm up here. Go for single player because I'm the only one here because I'm boring. Just let that load up. There's one problem, it's got a bit of an antenna problem. Although, this lead is just a used one that I grabbed, so it could be the lead itself. I'll have to try the other ones. Um, I don't want to mess around with this. Um. Really? Really? We cannot escape. Well, I'm not going to bore you with this. It's tested, it works. I've got some other things to check through. So just a short little video, so I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got some more PS2 and PS1 stuff, so thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you again in the next video. See ya.